Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for the weekend of Saturday the 29th and 30th, Sunday the 30th of December. For some reason I really wanted to say April, but I didn't. So we're all, we're all ahead. So yesterday we did a reading that was Brian and Wendy Fruit. And I'm kind of guided towards that again. So I'm just going to go with that guidance just because it's kind of there in my head. And for no other good reason than that, folks. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. We are also using a bit of herbal tarot to go alongside. What has been going on with that Seven of Swords? It has come up such a lot recently. Itchy nose. Okay. Wow. We've got the child, which I love. I love this card. It's just so innocent and gorgeous and bright. Speak like a child, again, I had that the other day, it comes into my, um, whatever it is, you know, I don't know what to call it, but whatever it is, it comes in there and goes, speak like a child, and I think, hmm, okay. There's something a little bit untoward. Next to that, I've got the Lady of Unicorns. For me, that's very much a card about following intuition, okay? There's a knowing here, there's a sensing, and it's the sense as well that children have. You know, children and dogs, really, they have a thing, and I don't even know how they do it. It's almost like they sniff people out. They can kind of tell when something's a bit what my friend calls wrong diddly ong. You know, that's a bit wrong diddly ong. Something's a bit off. Something's a bit wrong diddly ong. Underneath the Lady of Unicorns is the Seven of Swords. This came up yesterday in the Sneaky Foxness Wood Betony, which I'm betting is poisonous. Is that right? I don't know. That's just a punt. Okay, let me know because you always know. And it feels like to me the best sword she's got is this one in the kind of third eye chakra, the unicorn. Lady of unicorns. But also inside that is the child. And for some of you, this may even have something to do with having children with somebody. Or pregnancies. Or your childhood. Someone's holding out on something here. It could be... I mean, I don't get any um, people tarot cards. But I get the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hello, Valentine. Just having a stretch. Six of Pentacles in reverse, which is hops. I love the fact this is hops. And look at that. I mean, he's just got like a, a really good hat on. Look at that. He looks cool. He's got plume. It's an act of generosity and hops in themselves are generous in that they give to beer, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> I remember my parents used to brew their own beer back in the day, you know, back in the 70s. Self-sufficiency and brewing terrible sort of treacly dark beer in some smelly kitchen. Just an aside, Six of Pentacles in reverse is a certain lack of generosity. 
And that lack of generosity is someone is not being particularly generous with the truth. Is it you? Are you not speaking your mind? Do you not speak like the child? Because you might have to. I was going to say, do you speak from the horn? <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't. I just mean, do you speak from the fount, <laughs> from the font of intuition, easily? Okay. And then here, the Four of Pentacles. You know, cas. God, I can never say this one. Cascara bark which reminds me of that film, <laughs> uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. You know, when Mike Thingy off Neighbours goes in and he's all fully done up in amazing drag makeup and he goes into a video shop in some kind of provincial Australian town and says, do you have the Texas Chainsaw Mascara? <laughs> Brilliant film. If you haven't seen it, it's old, but it's so good. Cascara. Cascara bark. Cascara bark. But more importantly, being tight, holding on to something. I don't like it. I don't like the look of this. Six of Pentacles in reverse is an ungenerous card. Seven of Swords is a sneaky beaky kind of card. Four of Pentacles is sitting on it for want of being vulnerable. One of you's not speaking your mind in a situation. It could be with a child. It could be with your children. It could be with your parent. It could be with a lover. It's how it comes to you there is an opportunity for you to somehow I want to say punch a hole in it that sounds really violent sort of take away the toxicness punch a hole in the dark of it and bring in the light and the overall energy card I've got here is the four of wands now this is a twin flame 11 11 card yes for love but it's also a card of magic and it's a card of coming together and celebration and family and all thatness it's nice it's a lovely lovely card it feels gorgeous the four of wands feels like woo you know feels fluffy and auspicious is that a word i think so but you need to kind of unlock the door here somehow because it's what's not being said. It's this kind of... Over here, the Queen of Laughter. I love this card. It's a queen who's like a frog. But more importantly, she, she doesn't give a toss about anything. She's just having fun on her own terms, you know, and there's her kind of cronies with her and they're just all giggling. And it feels good, it feels nice, but it also feels like being free, free with the truth. Somebody's not being free with the truth with you, but that doesn't mean you should hide your truth under a bushel. There's about a million different um, metaphors and God knows what sort of buried in that. So sorry for mixing, mixing the old metaphors. This is a bit mysterious. I was hoping it would kind of unpack yesterday's reading a bit, but it's, kind of added to it I really hope you leave me a comment oh my god you saw how many times I shuffled those right third outing for this card this week yang the masculine comes up again the masculine principle of yang you know me I'm very often especially being a double Pisces all about leaving it well alone I'm all about keeping stum. I'm all about do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Now and again, the tarot nudges and nudges and says, do something, speak your mind, speak like a child, whatever it is. So I don't know what your version of doing something is. That's obviously on your radar and your compass. But there is <laughs> a wump from the tarot and also the astrology of it. Of course, we're in Capricorn. A very do something Saturn ruled kind of sign we're coming up to um, partial new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn on the fifth or the sixth ish yeah it feels like it's better to take control of a situation with that yang card keep popping out like that 
And then here we get divine guidance. And again with the Lady of Unicorns. And children are divinely guided anyway. In a way, laughter is like your divine guidance. Kind of move in the direction of what feels good. It's again, Joseph Campbell, follow your bliss. But at the same time, someone's having a giggle outside. Probably best not to leave it unsaid. Speak like a child. With kindness, but also from the heart or the horn. <laughs> Please leave me a comment and do share the video and I'll see you soon. Namaste.